UK's Foreign Secretary David Lammy is visiting China. This visit, happening on October 18th and 19th, marks a potential turning point in the relationship between the UK and China. And it's especially important to analyse the shift in attitudes now that Keir Starmer's Labour government is in charge. So why does this visit matter so much? Well, let's put things into context. The UK has been struggling with its international identity since leaving the European Union. Brexit has left the UK isolated in many ways, especially on the economic front. Not only has the UK lost access to the European single market, but it also has struggled to find its footing on the global stage. Now, let's be honest here, without solid economic partnerships, the UK's potential for growth has been seriously compromised. China, on the other hand, is the world's second largest economy. And despite some political tensions, the economic ties between these two nations are significant. In fact, bilateral trade between China and the UK reached nearly $98 billion in 2023. Think about that for a moment. $98 billion. And we're not just talking about trade. Over 500 Chinese companies are operating in the UK. There's a real and growing connection that's hard to ignore. Given the political and economic uncertainties facing the UK, particularly in its relationships with the EU and the US, it's no wonder that the UK is starting to look eastward. The so-called special relationship with the US, long considered a cornerstone of British foreign policy, isn't quite what it used to be. Despite this close alliance, the US has been slow to give the UK any of the preferential trade agreements it desperately needs post-Brexit. Meanwhile, the European continent has been going through its own economic struggles, largely due to the energy crisis triggered by the Ukraine conflict. This has also had a direct impact on the UK's economy. So caught between a rock and a hard place, the UK needs new opportunities and resources to drive its economic growth. This is where China comes in. China offers vast market opportunities, particularly in technology, finance and green energy, sectors where the UK is keen to make significant advancements. So it's clear that engaging with China could provide the UK with the much needed boost it's looking for. Now, what's interesting is the approach that Keir Starmer's government seems to be taking. It's no secret that UK-China relations have seen better days. The golden era of UK-China ties, promoted by David Cameron back in 2015, feels like a distant memory. Since then, there have been a series of setbacks from Theresa May banning Huawei from the UK's 5G network to Boris Johnson labelling China as a systemic competitor. But here's the thing. Starmer's administration seems to be taking a more pragmatic approach. They're following what they call a three C's policy. Cooperate, compete and challenge. This strategy, while acknowledging the challenges in the relationship, leaves room for cooperation, especially in areas where both nations stand to benefit economically. It's a balanced approach that could signal a new chapter in UK-China relations. Of course, this is all happening against a backdrop of intense geopolitical pressures. The UK's foreign policy has long been influenced by its close ties to the US, especially when it comes to the Indo-Pacific region. The UK has followed the US in viewing China through the lens of military competition, particularly linking China to the Russia-Ukraine conflict. But let's be real. This US-centric approach has only added more tension to UK-China relations, making it harder to cooperate in other areas. With the US presidential elections coming up and political shifts happening across Europe, the UK is in a tough spot. It needs to navigate these complex international waters carefully. And that's why Lamy's visit to China is so significant. This is an opportunity for the UK to reset its relationship with China, moving away from the ideological confrontations of the past and focusing more on areas where the two countries can collaborate. So what can we expect from this visit? Well, it's likely that the Starmer administration is looking to create new momentum in the fields of business and trade. China, as we know, is a massive market with a growing middle class, and it presents numerous opportunities for UK businesses, 
Whether it's technology, finance or green energy, China's potential for collaboration with the UK is immense. The fact that China is the UK's largest trading partner in Asia cannot be ignored. There's already a strong foundation for economic ties, and if this visit leads to more pragmatic economic collaboration, the future of China-UK relations could be bright. But let's be clear. The UK has to approach this with a balanced mindset. Yes, there are political differences, but focusing solely on those issues won't get either side anywhere. What's needed is a forward-looking strategy, one that recognises the importance of economic collaboration while maintaining dialogue on political issues. This isn't about capitulating to China, it's about realising that mutual growth is possible if both sides are willing to cooperate in key areas. Lamy's visit could mark the start of a new chapter in UK-China relations. The UK, facing significant economic challenges at home and uncertainties abroad, needs to seize this opportunity. China, with its vast economic potential, offers the UK a way to reinvigorate its economy and find new avenues for growth. This doesn't mean that all political differences will suddenly vanish, but it does mean that both nations can focus on what truly matters – economic progress. In a world that's becoming more interconnected and interdependent, isolating China would be a mistake. Instead, the UK should look to build on the foundation of trade and business ties, using this visit as a stepping stone to a more stable and prosperous relationship. David Lammy's visit to China could very well be the key to unlocking new opportunities for both nations. If the UK plays its cards right, this could be the beginning of a new golden era of cooperation. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below.